Today on CanonRumors.com, we saw our first glimpse of what is probably the Canon 60D. Now, by looking at these pictures, uh, we can definitely tell that there's been a few changes, uh, certainly over the old body style of the 50D. Uh, the most exciting visual feature that we see so far is a new flip screen. So this will definitely improve shooting video with any of the, the Canon DSLR cameras. It, it'll be a step above. Um, the flip screen will, will allow you to be able to film yourself. It'll allow you to be able to film in, in different areas and from a low angle or a high angle and not just shooting straight on. Also from the specs that have been essentially released or thought to have been released so far, it looks like it's still going to be an 18 megapixel sensor like the T2i and the 7D. Now, if this is combined with the Digic 5, we might actually see an enhancement to the video mode, but we also might not, and here's the reason why. I think that the main reason that we see the issues in the video mode with the 7D and T2i is not due to the fact that Canon can't read the whole sensor at once. It's that if they do, it'll be very, very slow. So what would happen is during a pan, you'd see a, a jello uh, worse than, say, a Nikon D90. And I think that would happen if they were to uh, stop the pixel bending and, and even use a method similar to the GH1 to get the video mode picture. Now, I could be completely wrong. The new Digic 5 might have a new way of processing the video straight off the sensor, but I wouldn't count on it. Um, for a real video mode improvement, I would think that the new Canon Hybrid, if it's real, uh, would fix that issue. And I would think it would fix that issue by using a lower density sensor, probably something around 12 megapixels, to be able to read that whole sensor at once. Some of the other things that I think the 60D will bring that the T2i does not have, that the 7D does have, but for a lower price, will be 1080i HDMI out. And I also think it'll be able to select the native ISOs of the sensor. So those one-third ISO steps that aren't available on the T2i, I wouldn't hesitate to believe that they'll be included on the 60D. In any case, from what's been released about the 60D so far, it's probably going to be the best and most cost-efficient Canon DSLR to buy to use strictly for video mode. Now for stills, I would still assume the 60D is going to be slower in frames per second than the 7D, but it still might be weatherproofed like the 7D. So from the rumors that have been released so far, I would think that probably it will get announced in the next couple of weeks, and from there you should see a lot of these things that I'm telling you are probably true. If not, I'll do another update going over the